All right, I got my notes here because I want to get this right. Talking about Dr. Thomas Starzl. Dr. Nock Tai is going to join me in the 8 o'clock hour after we talk pain medication and pain medicine with this man on the Allegheny Health Network program, Medical Frontiers. Dr. Uh, Tai is the director of surgery at the Allegheny Health Network, and he is a prominent transplant surgeon, but no one more prominent than Dr. Thomas Starzl, who passed away peacefully at the age of 90. Your thoughts about this legend of medicine, sir? Yes, as a matter of fact, Dr. Starzl uh, was going to be 91 on the 11th of this month, so uh, he, he was almost, uh, you know, a year older than what he, what they say when he died. But Dr. Starzl, uh, what a pioneer. I mean, he's right up there with Louis Pasteur and uh, Hippocrates, if you want. Uh, it, very, very tremendous, tremendous individual. But we also have to give a shout out to the patients that he operated on. Right. The patients who gave Dr. Starzl the consent. Yeah, I know my chances aren't very great, Dr. Starzl, if I have a, a liver transplant. You're the only chance I have. Though. That's right. And I'm willing to go ahead with it. You know, and if it's good, it may help me. But I know it might help somebody else also uh, if it's if you learn something from my liver transplant. So Dr. Starzl trained so many people, and Dr. Noctai is one of those. Oh wow! And I would think that anywhere in the world where transplantation is being done, whether it's a kidney transplant, a heart transplant, a pancreas transplant, small bowel transplant, that Dr. Starzl had something to do with that. Either they came to Pittsburgh to be trained, or the people that Dr. Starzl trained in Pittsburgh have gone out all over the world and trained other surgeons to do transplantation. So, you know, his legacy is going to go on forever and ever and ever. Why Pittsburgh? He comes from Colorado and he joins the School of Medicine at UPMC in 1981. Why do you think Pittsburgh? Well, the University of Pittsburgh has always been very, very strong in research. Right. And Dr. Starzl knew hey, we, can, we can technically take a liver from Rob Platt, Pratt and put into Gary Pfeiffer, okay? Mm -hmm. But we're not related, you know? And so I'm going to reject that liver. So Dr. Starzl knew that unless we came up with drugs that could uh, battle that anti-rejection, you know, so that people uh, were able to accept a liver from somebody else. And that was the crux of the problem. He needed a strong research team, and that was here in Pittsburgh. He brought people with him from Colorado, mm -hmm. and, he, and, you know, L.A. was also recruiting him, and he decided to come to Pittsburgh, and he brought some people with him, and then he developed a very, very strong research uh, program so that and, and they and I believe you mentioned cyclosporin right. you know, that was his that was his baby and his research lab came up with that and then other drugs and now I, I had a, a, a friend who had a heart transplant by Dr. Starzl back uh, many many years ago and this guy carried a briefcase of medications that he had to take every day he, he opened it up and it looked like a mini drugstore to keep him from rejecting his heart. That's not the way it is today, you know, like Teek Tikalbi. I mean, he doesn't have to take all that much medication to keep his heart from being rejected. And that's all part of the research that was headed up by Dr. Starr. But when you think of the McGovern Group and heart transplants, and you think of Jonas Salk and polio, you've got to put Dr. Starzl in the same oh, category. Yeah. Oh, put him right up ahead of the class. Right, okay. Coming up tonight on the program, pain medicine, but please don't miss the 8 o'clock hour, Dr. Nock Tai. Tell the audience about him, and then we'll go. Dr. Tai. Well, Dr. Tai is a, is a wonderful We've wonderful had him on the show. We've, he's been on the show many times. He's a friend of mine. He trained with Dr. Starzl, and when the opportunity came for him to be the, the head of transplantation at the Allegheny Health Network, he thought, this is the way I, I can start a program the way I want it, the quality that I want it, and so on. And he's done a wonderful job of putting together a quality program in transplantation. He really has. The great Dr. Gerald Pfeiffer, your host for the Allegheny Health Network program, Medical Frontiers, every Monday night, 7 to 8, on News Radio 1020, KDK. Good evening.